Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutaloops. All right, so in the last episode, um, we managed to escape from uh, Dallas as she is, uh, attacked our Lady Vengeance, our big boat. Um, and then we met with our god, uh, Amaretto, or whatever um, her name was. And then uh, here we are in the spirit realm. Not exactly sure what to do. Uh, maybe we have to explore the, the boat or something? I don't know. Um, maybe checking my logs would be a little helpful. The god woken. Within, I encounter the gods once more. They are losing their fight against the void and need the help of a new divine, a succession to Lucian. As a god woken, I have the potential to rise to the occasion to become the next divine. If the new divine does not rise, then the gods will fall and the entire world will be consumed by the void. Beast is closed. Beast has died? A victim of Dallas's attack on the late event. What? When the hell did he die? What the hell? Fane, while talking, uh, while talking? While talking, Fane mentioned that he had a family, a wife and a daughter, but he has no idea what happened to them. Ifan Ben Mezd. Uh, Ifan died on board the Lady Vengeance while we tried to escape Dallas. Um, the Red Prince? After a tumultuous escape into the Hall of Echoes, it t I turns out? I turns out? Anyways, I turns out. Red Prince didn't survive the voyage into the land of the dead. He is a spirit now, lost forever. Ah, shit. What the hell? I didn't think they would die. Ah, crap. Ah. Anyways. Uh, yeah, we've escaped to the uh, Hall of Echoes. Oh, so, okay, so this is the Hall of Echoes. I see. Okay. The Lady Vengeance seems to be empty. I should look for signs of others. I see. Okay, fine. I guess we have to scour the ship and look for other people then. There's a strange number of water barrels here. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe we need to throw these water barrels across the uh, over the uh, overboard, and then a mug of wine. What the shit? A bottle of wine? A broom? A bucket with water? Whoa! Lots of buckets with water. Okay, this is definitely a sign. We need to throw this water overboard. And, um, I guess, fill up the void with water, maybe? And there's also a dead source hound, which is a little weird. An empty, an empty bucket of fish, or sorry, a barrel of fish. Doesn't look all that empty to me. And an oil barrel. I'm assuming then we have to go maybe into the, um, into the hold or something. Maybe shoot these, uh, ballista? We've just launched the, uh, ballista into the, uh, into the void. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm assuming we're supposed to go into the hold here. Hopefully we'll find some people or something at least. Because it is lonely. I wonder if it's cold in the in the Hall of Echoes. It looks like it'll be a cold place, but... Whoa. I didn't think it would be so populated. Hey guys, Exter? Did you hear that this ship is alive and awake? I didn't think we'd have to ask the damn thing nicely to take us away from here. Uh, did I hear that it's alive? Bitch, I made it come to life. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He's such a tool. Unbelievable. Alright, well, it seems that we're unfortunately not alone. We um, have traveled to the Hall of Echoes with these fucking Goombas. Which is unbelievable. Ugh. Not a moment's peace to myself. Good grief. What do you mean, where's everybody? Safe from the storm. You saw Exter just there, and like Leia's still uh, walking around, you know, strutting her stuff, being all useless and shit. Just stillness. And shit tons of beer, apparently. Like, doesn't that go stale? What the hell? How do these guys survive and not Fane and uh, not the Red Prince and Ben and uh, Beast? What the shit? Never thought I'd be grateful to be holed up below decks, especially on a ship like this. And okay. Fine, Duggan. Dugan. Doug. Dig Doug. Doug Trio. Whatever the fuck your name is. Uh, Leia, do you have anything important to say? I said Leia. Hello. I can't hear this ship's voice. It should sound like a. Okay, bye. Jeez. Cannot stand talking to her. She talks too slowly. I mean, there's something to be said about people who uh, talk too slowly. You, you, you can never trust them. 
Like, what are they scheming that they're talking so slowly? And why are these guys... Why are you still staring at my door? You pervert. It was you, wasn't it? You who worked the ship. God work it. Um, what, you're just gonna say random words now? Hey, miss, if you want to come into my cabin to bang me, you just need to ask, right? You don't need to just stand there creepily. And where the hell is, um, Tunguska or whatever the fuck his name was? Dance notes, learning ledgers, apples, grapes, and oranges, and the spirits of the people that we... Ah... Uh, Shit, uh, guys, I'm sorry, this is awkward, um... Oof. Red Prince? The Red Prince's spirit stands bewildered, his spectral eyes beleaguered by disbelief. Defeat? I have been defeated. Impossible. Impossible. Um, tell him you're very sorry he perished, grin and confirm he's been defeated, and then some. I feel bad, I'm not gonna lie, maybe Debris would, um, you know, grin and confirm, but, uh, Fabrosi, I think, at least has a little bit of empathy, so, uh, uh, I'm sorry, man. No. The Red Prince does not perish. Even here, I hear the voices of destiny whisper. Oof. I will have my empire yet. That's rough. I will have my empire yet. Okay, well... Uh, Ben, you might want to maybe uh, put on some clothes. At least with the Red Prince, you can't see his, his giblets aren't immediately obvious. Oh, you're wearing boxers, right? Okay, good. The fan spirit stares at you, seemingly through you. There is neither affection nor blame in his expression. Um, call out his name? He gives no sign of seeing you. Whoa. Diffin's eyes flicker rapidly from side to side, as if trying to take in an expansive sight. He whispers, Gleku Duma, Gleku Duma, over and over, and suddenly you seem to hear the chattering of thousands of elven voices in the distance. Then, before your eyes, his spirit dissolves into the sound, his own voice joining the cacophony that you can hear. That you could hear, for now, no sound remains. All is calm. Hmm. Maybe Ifan had something to do with the uh, death of elves or something? Maybe he had a um, genocidal streak to him or something? Beast? People are going to perish. People are going to die and I can't stop it. She'll do it now. She'll never stop. She'll never stop. Okay, Beast. Um, so why did uh, Ben and... Uh, why did Ben uh, disappear and these guys didn't? It's a little strange, I gotta say. A little strange, but anyways, um... There is a floor. Oh! I can't keep this up much longer. We need to go. Whoa! What the? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, say so you're ready. Ready for what? Uh, ask her what's going on. Where are you? There's no time. I can't hold us here. Brace yourself. This might hurt. Oh no, my lady. Why? A lot. Oh damn! Please no! Don't kill me. Do I have to fight her now? We just gained eighteen thousand. Chill of the Hall of Echoes clung to the Lady Vengeance as it returned to the shores of Reaper's Coast. The Godwoken were alive, but what of the gods? Well, only some of us. Like, um, oh, most of these people on the screen are now dead. <laughs> oh shit, it's only Sabila and Losa that are alive. Oh, damn. Well, it's not my fault for, uh, <laughs> trying to make sure that the women survived, right? I mean, if it's the end of the world or something, then, um, better to make sure that, uh, more women survive than men? No? <laughs> or is that a terrible thing to say? No, it's just practical. beneath your feet. Your weight falls back into your body all at once, and bright sunlight suddenly illuminates your surroundings. Oh. As you look around, you realize you're still aboard the Lady Vengeance. A gust of fresh sea air caresses you, and warm sunshine coaxes the bones of your skull and hands to tighten pleasantly. Oof. <laughs> <coughs> One moment, please. <coughs> oh, just a moment. Sexy. Melody explodes in a fit of Whoa. ratching that racks her body. 
At last, she sneezes and expels a glob of something shiny and silver onto the deck. It wriggles quickly off the siding and plummets into the sea with a splash. Ah, better. Did you just snort out source? And what's with the blackness of the map just being all funky and shit? Let's not do that again anytime soon. Hmm? Uh, I mean, if you're gonna make those sexy noises, then I guess uh, maybe we should try at least. Um, ask her what exactly happened back there. Well, we needed to escape, didn't we? So I took us the one place I was quite certain Dallas couldn't follow. I suppose you recognized the Hall of Echoes from those visions you'd had before. Realm of the Dead, Realm of Divinity. Well, I've also been there as for Brosi, so, you know. I do hope you learned something useful on our little field trip. Uh, tell her you're not sure, you met one of the gods again and they seemed desperate. Say you don't think so, some ethereal figures calling themselves gods keep trying to distract you from your purpose. Uh, uh I, should we just tell her what's going on? I mean, she's half demon, right? Or half, no, not, not a devil, uh, that's, that's, um, the rain, uh, world of Faerun. Um, Sure, let's just try to be a little dismissive. Even I know when to pay attention to the gods. Tell me what you saw. Um, describe to her, describe to her everything you saw and heard in the Hall of Echoes. Say you'll tell her once she answers a few questions of yours. Sure. Oh, fine. One spooky magic, two only half a demon actually. My mother was a bitter elf named Loda. Three just a bit of leftover effluvia from the spell. Four, more than I can count. Five, something too horrible to mention by the light of day. Fourth and fifth question, uh, I was definitely going to ask something sexual, but, um, okay. I guess that does answer my question. Alright, cool. And now that I've answered every question a sane person could conceive to ask of me in this moment, let's carry on. Alright, um, see? sure, we'll describe everything we saw. I see. So... Your god seemed uncharacteristically frightened, told you the void was coming, and that only you could ascend to divinity, after which you felt a cold deep within you. Uh, that's, I guess, the, um, what was it, a, the sitcom way to, uh, summarize things, yes. Well then, it sounds like you need to ascend, doesn't it? And quickly. She inspects her fingernails with great attention, then looks up at you from under an arched eyebrow. Did they mention how you were meant to become the next divine? Hmm. Admit they were somewhat vague on the point. Say you understood you're meant to grow your powers, but not entirely sure where to start. Uh, sure. Oh, what confidence you inspire. Good. Luckily for you, Mama Malady is here to help. Yes, my lady? We already know you can bless, but as far as I know, you can neither see source nor take it as you see fit. I may not know much about divinity, but I do know that any god woken worth their salt will know how to perform all these oh-so-fantastic feats. You need to go see the Meister. From Game of Thrones, right? The guy at the wall? Or is it the, the bald guy? I, I don't know. Anyways. Tell it to think again. You've cast source spells before, and you've taken source in order to do so. Um... Sure. As have I, but not in the ways a true god woken can. Forget those ghastly little jars and wands to which small people must resort. You ought to be able to see and speak to the spirits that wander our realm. And you ought to be able to extract the source they leave behind, too. All this just by your little old onesie. No devices, no gimmicks. Whoa, are you talking about my onesie pajamas? When you're done, you'll be able to amass and unleash quantities of source so great the Lucian himself would blush. I quite look forward to seeing it. Well, 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 m'lady. If that's how we're gonna play it, then, uh, I'm not gonna say no. Uh, ask where you can find this Meister. Say you have business that doesn't involve the gods, the Meister, or, or even uh, m'lady. Um, let's ask where we can find this Meister. Oh, she's got one of those things in Driftwood. You know, the building where people go and they do things inside of it? Uh, a home, that's it. She's got a home in Driftwood. Give me your map. There you are. Tell her I sent you, and she'll handle the rest. How do I have a map of this place? You're at the beginning of a long journey, Godwoken. Long, but exceedingly interesting. I hope so. Now, I must be going, and so must you. 
Um, ask how you can get to shore. Our faithful little sloop, of course. We can all ride together. Won't that be terribly fun? Uh, ask where she's off to. Shopping. Okay, great. Fantastic. We'll take my leave. Go. If I'm not back by the time you find out where our journey takes us next, you can call me back here. Tell the ship. She'll know how to summon me. How does the ship know that? And in the unlikely case you don't manage to do whatever it is you'll need to do to become what you need to become, you could call me. But I would be grateful if it doesn't come to that. Hmm. How grateful exactly? All right, uh, Fane and uh, Losa seem to want to say something. Uh, Losa first. Hey, before we dash off into the wild world yonder, I should mention, Malady and I had a talk on the way here. Oh, about what about? Tell her it's that's between her and Malady. Notice the look of concern on her face. Ask if she's all right. Oh, ask what they talked about. Uh, let's ask if she's all right. All right. Oh, <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. It's just, Malady mentioned a thing in my head, probably a demon, and that there's someone close to where we're headed who might be able to help me with it. Um, you already told us that, didn't you? A demon, say you had your suspicions, but it's terrible to have them confirmed. Nod and don't comment about the demon. Tell her if there's someone she wants to meet, she should. Exclaim, that's great news. This is the closest she's been to having answers. Um, sure, let's exclaim and say that's great news. I know, it's... Great, exciting, terrifying. A heady mixture of all three that makes my stomach feel like it's in a vice. Hmm. I have to say, having you here makes it all seem possible. We'll be alright, right Chief? Tell her the truth, probably not, all things considered. <laughs> Tell her the chips will fall where they'll fall, or let's squeeze her hand. Of course you will. She smiles, her dark eyes glittering. Oh, wow, wow, we wah. Well, we better get a move on. I've got a demonologist to find. Great. All right, Fane, you next. What do you have to say, buddy? It's rather impressive that a place named Reaper's Coast is even less cheerful than it sounds. Well, I don't know. I mean, the the black void that I'm seeing over on the uh, minimap seems to suggest otherwise, that it's cheerful as all hell. Then again, I suppose desolate, boring, and covered in fish heads coast doesn't quite roll off the tongue. I've actually been to desolate, boring, and covered in fish heads coast. It was, um, well, it really lived up to its name, but otherwise, the people were pretty friendly. Although, man, they fucking charged an arm and a leg for a soda. Still, here we are. I trust I needn't remind you about our agreement. Uh, ah, yes. That. Ask for a quick summary. Nod, you haven't forgotten. Explain that you have your course. A milady says you have to find Meister Siva and Driftwood. We haven't forgotten. Good. It is of the utmost importance that I reach the Black Pits and access the dig site there. Sure, sure. Once that is understood, I am quite content. Lead on, oh adequate one. Oh wow, Fane called me adequate. Dear diary, Fane called me adequate and I just also in, like absorbed milady's vomit into my own body. Oh, it was a great day today. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy Fane called me adequate. Just got a massive raging boner. Only because I'm undead and I'm a, well, bone person. Han Solo, what do you have to say? Hello again. That's twice now you've saved my skin. Yeah, you better not fucking forget it, little shit. And I think it's time to start with paying the favors. I could fetch some stuff you need, maybe. Mar always said I was a great runner. Yeah, I could actually do with a, a kilo of cocaine, so if you could uh, go out there and uh, score some drugs for me, that would be great. Um, tell me you could certainly use a thing or two. An empty potion bottle, parchment, ooh. Wah wah wee wah. Can you perhaps... Holy crap holy. Can you... How is he going to get a tormented soul? Is that really an appropriate thing to ask a child? Look, I draw the line at hard drugs when it comes to asking children to fetch things for me. But a tormented soul? Come on, what's he gonna do? Like, reach into the depths of hell and pull out the soul of, like, I don't know, fucking, um, some tortured dude? Who's a tortured dude? I'm trying to look of a, think of a celebrity over here, but, uh, I'm failing miserably. Fine, get me an empty potion bottle. No, no, no. Get me a tormented soul. Sure thing. I'll start hunting that down right away. Don't wait up. Oh my god, how? We just sent a little child out to find a tormented soul. What the fuck? And he's just disappeared into the netherworld or something. 
Gareth, you gotta preach to me your stupid, stupid fucking religion again? Or at least, you know, make me really angry that you haven't shaved your disgusting mustache and... What can only be described as a soul patch kind of thing. Oh, I fucking hate soul patches. Hail, friend, and remember... In Lucian's love, there could be no wrong. I knew it. I fucking knew. I knew he would spout his religion the first thing he says. Alright, what are your plans? Paradise awaits, my friend. Not an actual paradise, of course. I don't think there's such a place in all of Rivalon. Paradise Downs. My parents still sow the soil there. And if the Order hadn't called me to its ranks, I'd still call their farm my home. I miss it. I miss them. They've been forever understanding of my duty. But I admit, I've been neglectful. I have some wrongs to right. Yeah, you can start by shaving off your disgusting mustache. He knows what's next for him, ask what's next for you. I expect Malady has an answer to that. It seems she's got it all in hand. Mm-hmm. Does he really have to quote Lucian's- Thank you! It's like the developers read my mind. Does he really have to quote Lucian so often? Only as often as I need his guidance, Godwin. Oh my god. I'm about to guide my fist down your fucking throat, Gareth. When I invoke Lucian's words, I invoke his deeds, too. He stood for the defenseless when the Black Ring rose up. For all of us. For my mother. My father. Gareth's nostalgia lasts for just a moment longer. He composes himself, clears his throat, and waits for your next question. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, no more questions. Goodbye, sir. Unbelievable. What is she doing? Sergeant uh, Godzilla? I have plenty of fighters for hire. No. Oh, I see you have a Yeah, no. I don't think so, God Sergeant Godzilla. Anyone else on the boat before we um that we have to talk to before we bugger off? Why is that dead source hound still here? Can someone please like throw that dead source hound off the uh, side of the boat? Like good god, guys. It's one thing to like leave some dead humans or dead people around, but like a dead dog? I mean, it's not to say that, you know, dogs should be dismissed so easily, but come on. Guys, it's not like we're gonna have a funeral for the dead source hound. Maybe if it was like, um, I don't know, some sort of like cute little corgi thing, but, uh, or a, or a majestic looking husky. Okay, um, uh, taro bread? What do you want? I hadn't realized I was in such illustrious company when we met before. Most fascinating the things I've been hearing about you. And most fascinating, the things I haven't heard about you at all. What do you have to sell to me? Power Storm. Dark. Oh, these are all the things that are, or some of them are at least uh, the stuff that I've already sold them. Aha! Chop, chop, chop! That sounds pretty cool. Except we don't have a lot of money. Um, living on the edge. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. I can raise. A Bone Widow skill. Oh, wait. Uh, we can raise a Bone Widow. I can tell you I, uh, I can uh, give that Widow my bone, if if you know what I mean. Oh, uh ho, ho. Oh, I'm so... Pants of Mercy. Wow. Holy shit. It's called Pants of Mercy. I love it. Uh, Losa, how much can you get the Pants of Mercy for us? Like $200 off. Not bad, and it would be fairly good for, um, for Sibyl, I think. North Star, Ring of Fate, Warfare and Necromancy, this is perfect for Fabrosi. Holy crap, except, I don't know if we actually have a lot of stuff to sell. This is kind of a shame. Because if we did, then I wouldn't mind, but I think we'd be probably running out of money sometime soon. I don't know, I mean, I don't want to really waste more time on this screen, but I do really want this uh, Ring of Fate. It's also really expensive. Warfare and Necromancy. It's perfect for Fabrosi. It's exactly what he needs. Fine, you know what? We'll at least get this. And uh, Gut Wrencher. Sounds amazing for Sabeel, except it's finesse and single-handed. And also Chop 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 sounds great. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just go for this, for now, since it's a, uh, what I assume it's a, a unique, um, unique, uh, ring, right? It's, uh, there we go. What should we replace it with? Let's replace the HP one. There you go. 
Anyone uh, not have a ring? Or not have a decent ring? There, you can take that. And I think everyone else has a ring of sorts. Fantastic. Alright. Sorry about that, guys. Hiroshi? Something on your mind? Uh, wonder what he's heard about you. That you're, uh, how did Malady put it again? A god woken. Yes, that's it. Quite remarkable if it's true. Um, ask if this alters his opinion of you somehow. Tarquin pauses, taking you in. Genial smile and calculating eyes. Most people are too sentimental to admit that friendship is a transaction. I am not. I'm sure we can both be of use to each other. Okay, concur for now. Marvelous. Great things abound in our future, I'm sure. Uh, remark that many aboard this ship died during the recent ordeals. How is it that he survived? Why it was your ally, Malady, who spared me. She claimed that I might be of some use yet. Rather flattering to enjoy the favor of such a powerful being. Hmm, alright. Sure. No, we don't need to trade with you anymore, but I'm just gonna say it. No, nope, okay, that, he didn't really respond to that. I thought he would respond. But, uh, you've got my money, buddy. You've got my money. Alright, to the beach. And is there anything else to do while we're here? No, I think we're good. Alright, let's do this. Let's go over to the Reaper's Coast or whatever. Here we are. A million of waves. Or what? Sibyl? Um, are you miming this? Or are you using, like, the uh, Revolonian, um... Hand signaling. Whoa, whoa! Gareth, please. We're having a private conversation. Get out of here. Um... Tell her you'll buy a dr buy her a drink in the nearest tavern. Uh, tavern? Oh my god, tavern. She looks pensive. What's something on her mind? Let's tell her we'll buy her a drink. You celebrate- Why- Why is she not talking? Okay. Um... Sibyl, can you please- Voice your di lines, please. All right. To be God woken is all well and good, but above all, I've yet to find the ma uh, master. Somewhere further inland, Roost Anlon breathes. All I have now to do, all I have to do now is to pick up his scent and make his last breath worth my while. Great. Well, I thought uh, telling her that I'm gonna buy her a drink would, you know, appease her a little bit. And who fucking drove the boat? onto the land and destroyed a poison barrel along the way. Was it Bayek? Was Bayek uh, driving this thing? Like, holy shit, man. Guy fucking destroys boats like nobody's business. What is with this poison? Poisoned fish. Hot damn. Fabrosi is like second favorite meal. Next to, of course, the, um, the uh, human femur and all that shit. Alright, so the others are thankfully avoiding the poison. Um, Stardust Herb. Let's get that. And let's also get us some more poison fish. I don't understand why all these fish are poisoned. Maybe it's a um, comment on the modern uh, pollution and whatnot. The modern world. You know, modern pollution in the modern world. Or as opposed to just pollution in the modern world. About how we like destroying the ocean and the ecosystem and all that stuff. Right? Maybe this is Larian's way of uh, staying, I don't know, on top of current events and topics? An empty bottle, a fancy bottle of beer, and a fishing rod. Don't we already have a fishing rod? Yeah, we do. We don't need this fishing rod. We'll leave that for some poor other uh, sucker. A lot of poison fish. Some whisper wood. Take all this shit. I think we actually sold all of our um, shells last time we were in, uh, in you know, well, somewhere where we could sell all our shells and stuff. But any other stuff to get? Holy crap, this poison is working wonders for Fabrosi's um, complexion. Get that extra shell. Anything up here to maybe explore? No? Okay, fine. I guess we should maybe interact with a statue. I'm fairly certain that's just a waypoint statue. Anything is in this barrel? Nine gold. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it's like... Negligible in comparison to how much we lost buying Fabrosi that damned ring. Okay. The angelic figure stands upon a mosaic that depicts a dragon or a leviathan. Okay. Um, touch the globe 
the figure is bound upon. You feel weightless, as if lifted by a silent wind. For just a moment, your mind is free of wonder and worry. Great. Um, that doesn't really help too much. And we got a rabbit hole. Got some carrots. Fantastic. Taking the uh, a rabbit's livelihood. So now the rabbit is, of course, going to have to turn to um, life of crime and prostitution to uh, make ends meet. Right? Robbing uh, clientele and sometimes just having sex with said clientele to, um, to, to make, to make money, or to make carrot money, I, I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, there seems to be a lot of, whoa! There's a shark here that we can talk to. Hot damn. Void Tainted Crimson Bream. Wow. I bet fucking Gordon Ramsay could make something amazing out of that. Holy shit. Whoa, buddy. Just give me a sec. I'm just seeing what's uh, what to expect um, before we jump in and start talking to sharks and whatnot. But I think that'll have to wait until the next episode as we are currently out of time. And I apologize for again dawdling and faffing about and just talking about random crap. But I'm sure that's what you're here for, right? Maybe? Or maybe you're here for the excellent gameplay. Um, in which case I would suggest you look somewhere else. But <laughs> anyways. I'll leave it off here and uh, come back tomorrow to explore the most more of the Reaper's Coast and find out what's going on with the um, dead fish and all that. So for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.